Hello, this is Christina coming to you from sunny California and my kitchen corner. I would like to share with you a milk glass tag that is being issued by the lovely Rachel from Sweden Simple Home. I'll be linking below her channel and I believe she's created a playlist so that you can go to her channel and start watching all the lovely ladies that are participating. I wasn't tagged directly so I'm just being a tag along and um, she has a, a few questions. I have approximately 61 pieces. There might be more around the house because I, I use them everywhere from room to room and then I put them away and then I forget about them and then I pull them out little by little again. For most of the time they're just sitting in my china hutch. So here's my collection. My favorite pieces are the Avon pieces and these are all by Avon and I really like them because they have like little floral um, decals on it and this one's my favorite and this is a Avon Leisure Hour foaming bath oil. I bought most of my milk glass at a thrift shop. My sister-in-law gave me some pieces. I stopped collecting about 15 years ago and this is what I have and and I'm just enjoying what I have. I don't want any more. I see them all the time but I just don't pick them up because I have more than enough. All my milk glass is um, for display except for the um, vases. Those I do use and um, I have a little nice collection and again I gave a lot of them away because I used to have a lot more a lot lot more and I just kept these because they were the pair and then these because they're just so sweet and these were the ones that I had like gobs of them I had so many but this one I just found under a cabinet today and then um, these are from uh, Flowers Are Us, I believe that these were given if you purchased a floral arrangement and had them delivered. And uh, as, as I said before, I, I have too much milk glass already and there's really nothing I want. And all the nice pieces that I did have, those are the ones I wanted. Then I passed them down so someone else can enjoy them. I decided to collect milk glass because my mom used to use it. She had the Pyrex um, uh, bowls, the nesting bowls, and I always thought those were so nice. And then she had from the blue chip stamp, it was a catalog um, um, stamp company that if you purchase a, a certain amount of groceries from a market they would give you like these little blue chip stamps and then you would fill out a a little book and um, then you would go and shop and buy whatever you wanted or you can order it in the mail these are these come in a spice rack and um, it's a wooden spice rack and it had like a double row of spices and um, I had a lot more of these. I don't know what happened to them. This is what I have for now that I was able to find because I have them all over my house and cabinets and my china hutch. Under the sink I had, I found one of them over there and it's like they're all over the house. 
So it was like a scavenger hunt last night. I didn't go to sleep until about 1.30 trying to find um, the stuff that didn't fit in my china hunch. My tip to anyone that's starting to collect is don't just have a set mind of what you want to spend. No more than $2 for a small item and try to get them half price at the thrift shop or on the discount. And then for the medium ones, no more than 4 And then for the big ones like these here, no more than 6 Because you can find these um, for really cheap. And, you know, sometimes if you're driving around, there are, you'll find some boxes on the road that say free. Look in those boxes. You'll be surprised that you can find uh, some milk glass. I found a lot of these in, in some of those boxes that were on the street curbside with a sign that said free. Help yourself. Don't buy everything you see that's milk glass unless it's cheap and then you're willing to pass it on to someone else. Like I said, it was really late last night and it was 12 o'clock and I was taking these things out of my china hutch. And I think I didn't take a picture of it because it was so dark. The lighting in my dining room is horrible. So I think I just decided last night to put everything out here. And like at midnight, I was still tr trying to look for items. And I finally went to bed at 1.30. And um, so I'm sorry you didn't get to see how I had them displayed. But this is what I have so far that I was able to find. And... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And again, thank you, Rachel, for this wonderful tag. As you can see, they do break. And um, this one was put away. And I think it's been broken several times because I can see that this one was patched up. And... I don't care anymore you know at one time I was all crazy about them breaking and then all of a sudden I just lost interest in if they broke or not my mother never got mad at us if we broke anything so yeah I, I, I stopped stressing about it and and um, as you can see look how dirty they are um, it's really early in the morning right now so I decided I'm just going to show you what I have and even though this one's broken, I love it. I love it. And these are the ones that I use a lot. These two right here. These. And there you go. I might break another one as I'm videotaping this. And um, 